Oh my god! Look at all these! Wanna say hi? Whoa, 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 okay, bye. Press that. Subscribe! Ah! My Walden people! Welcome to the wild world of Farley! Let's get it! Stay wildin'! What's up my Walls and people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. Alright guys, so today I'm at Beverly's Pet Center. What I'm doing here is I'm looking for some different pieces, maybe a tank. Because what I want to do is I want to create something. My god, it's noisy today. Those birds are going crazy. But like I was saying, what I want to do is I want to create a tank for my little baby crawfish. So guys, let's do that. Follow me as I grab what I need to grab. What I'm looking for right now is a filter. I need to get a filter that's enough for maybe 5 to 10 gallons because that's what I'm thinking I'm going to make the size of the baby crawfish tank. The Fire Nation tank. That's, hey, that's a cool name. So this right here is an Aquion. It's about a 10 gallon tank for up to 10 gallons. So this would actually be perfect. So let's grab this. Next up, let's get a tank. Let's get a 10 gallon tank. All right, perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Guys. Whoa, take a look at this. This is so sick. It's a volcano. All right, so let's get it. This looks pretty cool. These will be perfect little hiding spots for my little crayfish. So let's get this as well. All right, guys. So these are the birds making all this noise in the background of my videos. Look at this fella. It's a nice and cute fella. Say hi. Wanna say hi? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, bye. All right, guys, so we've made it back to the wild world of Farley's house. That's my house. And guys, we have everything we need. Let me show you the ingredient list to make this beautiful. We got some of that nice black aquarium gravel. So that's good to go, it's nice and black. Gonna make those little babies pop. Apart from that, we have this 10 gallon tank. We're gonna use this to mix everything in here. And we got some, some greenery, artificial greenery, just to have little areas for the little crayfish to hide. And guys, the piece de resistance, the bam bam boom boom, the volcano. This is amazing. I'm excited to see that. And of course, we need a filter. There you go, Aquion Quiet Flow filter, because I'm tired of all those noisy filters. And we got some gravel as well. All right, guys, without further ado, before there's no more daylight, let's get the show on the road. But what I'm going to do now is this little thin, thin, fine gravel. I'm actually going to wash it. Some gravel I do wash, some gravel I don't wash. It depends on which gravel it is. It depends on the size of it. And it depends on what creature I'm putting in. So right now I'm going to take my, that's right, my red bucket. What I'm going to do is put some black gravel into it, rinse it up, and then I'll be able to add this to the tank. I'll also clean the tank while I'm at it. Time to pour some of this gravel. Ooh. Uh, this should be enough. Do a little more, do a little more. All right, not trying to get distracted, but take a look at the Tiger Shovel Nose Marble Car Hybrid. Guys, I was afraid to leave him in the mini pool pond. Where's the mini pool pond? Because of this big boy right here. That's right, the Tiger Shovel Nose. I didn't want the Tiger Shovel Nose to slurp him, so I ended up putting him right back over here. Till he gets a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, and he can move along with the albino iridescent shark into the mini pool pond, which is called Catfish Kingdom. See how the little baby catfish are doing from... The fish rehousing. Oh, where are they? Where are they? Let's open this up real quick. Okay. We got, we have the red tail catfish over there. We have the iridescent shark doing oh so good. And all the other catfish in Catfish Kingdom. Don't worry, I'm gonna feed you, you hungry boy. Casanova's a hungry boy. All right, guys, so I like to use the water from Olympia. Oh my God, what's happening here? <laughs> that was a close one. This net got me trapped. Like I was saying, I like to use the water from Olympia to rinse off my, my tank items. Oh, oh my God. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Not the most smoothest, but I got the job done. So this is rinsed out and clean and good to go. Now it's time to do the same thing with our gravel. So now my tank is clean and my gravel is washed. So what I'm gonna do now is add some of the gravel. All right guys, so now my tank is clean. So is my gravel. So guys, let's just add it. Let's add with the first ingredient. Ooh. Ooh, come closer guys, come take a look at this. Missing all the action over here. 
All right, so the gravel or my substrate is laying. Now it's time to put some of these decorations. All right, guys, let's put this right here at the edge. All right, perfect. Looking nice, looking nice. Now it's time to put the volcano. Look at the design. This is beautiful. Fire Nation is about to about to be created, pretty much. Try to take this out. Come on. Why you gotta be so complicated? This is gonna work as a big air stone. This is awesome. And you gently place it down. We're good to go. What's missing now is pretty much water. This is a five gallon bucket, so let me fill it real quick. Woo! Add just a little bit of water. So we now interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to show you guys some feedings. Come take a look at them. Look at all the catfish in Catfish Kingdom. Ooh. Let's see who wants to eat. Oh, he's ready. Look at this Casanova. What's up, boy? Oh, my boy. What about Apollo? Ooh, Apollo was not playing any games. Oh, my boy. Oh, my boy. Car ate it. Catfish? Oh, he stole that. Oh, look at him. Look at his mouth is stuffed. <laughs> but he's still trying to eat. It was Come on, Tiger Shovel, no slurp it, slurp it, yeah, yeah. All right, so who are you gonna feed first? Giant. All right, let's see, let's see it. Let's see, oh, there he is right there. Ooh. Sit the water so he can come. Oh, the Paco are coming. What? There's Giant, there's Giant. Oh, there's Scar too. Oh, you're making him struggle today, what's up? Oh, <laughs> he's going crazy. Oh, oh. Goodbye, Tilapia. All right, who else are you going to feed? How about Scar? Where's Scar? Oh, that's giant. Aspie giant. Why not? Oh, you got a small piece? You must not be. <laughs> You're not afraid of your hands? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only someone experienced can use small little fish to feed giant. Let's see if I can get giant. There he is, there he is, there he is. That's all you gotta do. Get in, <laughs> get in and put your hands close to him. Uh, I didn't need to. <laughs> get close up. Oh! Did he he got scared. He, he did. He got scared. He got it now. He got it now. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's giant. There's giant. Ooh, giant aggressive. Giant. All right, let's bring this bad baby inside. So for this filter, I already rinsed it under cold water to get rid of any dust. Apart from this, I don't want any of my little babies getting stuck right here. Oh, that's pretty funny. I don't want any of my babies getting stuck right here, so I'm gonna take some filter floss, thin layer, and just put it, wrap it right around here. Just put some rubber bands. This is the end result. I covered the holes, as you guys can see. I couldn't do it from in here because there's no way to get two actual holes right here. Perfect, I plugged it in and it's good to go. Now time to find my babies. Hey, maybe we should plug this in too. Three, two, one, whoa. And turn it on. Whoa! Check this out. Check this volcano out. All right, let's see the babies. I know there's some babies stuck here, and I'm gonna quickly transport them. Let me pull this out and see if there's any babies stuck. Oh my God! Look at all these babies. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let me transport them very quickly. Oh my! Look at them on top right there. Look at them. They're going crazy. Be free, baby. Be free. Three, four. Get this one right here. Mm -hmm. up? Subscribe, subscribe. Here you go. Look at them. Oh, they're so little. Yeah, and they're still alive, so I'm happy about that. Whoa, check this out, guys. While I was doing the transfer for the little babies, putting them in their new tank, fern emoted. Whoa, that's pretty cool. All right, let's do this quickly. Look at all of these babies. Time to transport them. Transporting crawfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transport. This is the end result, guys. I'm actually really excited. It turned out better than I thought. Really simple and easy to do. Guys, comment below and let me know what you guys think about this design. Oh my good. All of these beautiful little baby crawfish. Take a look at them, guys. They're right over there. There's about 10 right there. Some right there in the little hiding spots. Out here loving this volcano. This is a really cool volcano. What else do we have? We have some babies over here. 
Some babies over there, some babies everywhere. I can't wait for them to get big and strong. All right, my Walden people, that's all we have for today's episode. Guys, take a look at this tank. It is gorgeous. The Fire Nation has risen. All right, guys, comment below and let me know what you guys think about this tank. Well, until next time, stay wildin'. Hey, hey, you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.